Hey guys, welcome back to the Joyful Investor channel. In our previous videos, we shared about what we are doing in our FIRE journey. So in today's video, I think it's a good juncture to also share some common misconceptions that many people have of the FIRE movement. Before I begin, hit the like and subscribe button for more investing content. Misconception number one, you want to fire because you want to retire early to do nothing and laze around. The first misconception of the fire movement is that many people have thought that achieving financial independence and retiring early is so that we can do nothing and laze around. That's absolutely incorrect. The heart of the fire movement is to be able to gain more freedom and autonomy to pursue what we like to do so that we have more time to do the things that we find meaningful and fulfilling without having to worry about the financial aspects. It is not that we do not wish to work or just want to laze around and go to the coffee shop to la kopi or sleep through the whole day at home or even watch Netflix the entire day. In fact, there are some of them who would still choose to work if the, even after they manage to retire early. Some of them continue on their existing job or seek a job that they are passionate about, which they may not have the chance to try out if not for FIRE. Personally, for myself, I would like to continue with content creation in the investing space and even try out interesting jobs like perhaps working at a florist or baking in a cafe or working overseas as a park employee on the happiest place on earth. There are so many experiences on my list which I would like to try out. So the next time when you hear about the FIRE movement, please don't imagine a lifestyle of just sitting at a cafe, doing nothing or non-stop shopping. I think that's a misunderstanding of the definition of retire early. Retiring early for many FIRE practitioners actually means to make time to do things that they find meaningful and not to do it just because you need to earn that salary for livelihood. Misconception number two, you need to make huge sacrifices and practice extreme frugality. When we talk about the FIRE movement, most people will think that you need to make huge sacrifices, practice extreme frugality so that you can save a lot of money. Well, that doesn't have to be the way. Though there are some FIRE practitioners who may indeed exercise extreme frugality, I'm a believer of striking a balance on spending and saving wisely. At times, I might indulge in perhaps a more fanciful meal or to reward myself with purchases along the way to celebrate small successes in life. Those, in my opinion, are somewhat important to motivate me to continue to work harder towards the goals that I want to achieve in life. So the important message is to find that right balance for yourself and do not think that you need to sacrifice your current living standards and live overly frugally just so that you can save more. There isn't a one-size-fits-all kind of fire movement because each individual is unique. In fact, people who adopt the fire movement tend to be more critical of their expenses, which is one of the pillars to good financial planning. So use that right mindset to your advantage and fire in a manner that's appropriate for the kind of lifestyle that you want to pursue. Misconception number three, you don't know how to live in the moment and have fun. Joining the fire movement does not mean that you can't have fun. Having fun and attaining happiness in life can come in countless ways, many of which don't cost you a lot of money. Take for example, instead of dining out at a fancy food restaurant, you can choose to organize a sunset picnic at Marina Barrage with your friends. Or if you guys prefer something more active, you can also cycle along the Changi Bay Point to enjoy the picturesque views and shoot some TikTok-worthy content. Then, for those who like to wreck your brains, you can invite your friends over for a board game session. Nothing beats genuine accompaniment and experience. It's possible to have fun affordably with your family and friends. Misconception number four, you need to have a high income to fire. So this last misconception is that you need to be earning a high income in order to join the FIRE movement. And this couldn't be more wrong. While having a higher income may put you on a better starting point, it doesn't guarantee that you would be able to achieve financial independence faster. In a 2002 survey done by Willis Towers Watson, a consulting firm, 36% of the US employees with salaries of 100000 or more are living paycheck to paycheck and this percentage has since doubled since 2019. 
This phenomenon is what we call lifestyle keep or lifestyle inflation, where the discretionary consumption increases on non-essential items as the standard of living improves and as you earn a higher salary. So while you may be earning a higher salary, lifestyle inflation can actually slow down your progress to fire. Conversely, even if you are earning a lower income, as long as you are able to spend prudently and save wisely, as well as invest consistently, it is still possible to achieve financial independence and retire early. After all, FIRE is simply a math game where you work through the numbers for your salary, savings and investment income to help you attain your FIRE goals. So these are the four common misconceptions which some people have for the FIRE movement. It's time that you try out on your own and find that right variation of FIRE which suits your lifestyle preference. And the next time when you have peers who are still skeptical about the FIRE movement, share this video with them to clear their misconceptions about FIRE. So smash that like and subscribe button and see you in the next video.